Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm John Chu with China's Xinhua News Agency. Today, China's first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou One, is expected to dock with orbiting space lab Tiangong Two. And the picture you are watching now is streamed from Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, a command center for the Chinese space program. Tianzhou One blasted off from the Wenchang Space Launch Center in South China's Hainan Province on Thursday. It is expected to dock with Tiangong Two for three times, and today is the first rendezvous between the two. Tianzhou One's main mission will be to refuel Tiangong Two, thus testing one of the key technologies needed for the operation of China's future space station. Tianzhou One was sent into space aboard a Long March 7Y2 carrier rocket. The mission is a crucial part of China's manned space program. The Long March 7Y2 is a medium-sized rocket that can carry up to 13.5 tons to low Earth orbit. It's able to carry cargo spacecraft and man-made satellites. Long March 7Y2 is also a medium-sized rocket, which runs on environmentally friendly liquid oxygen, said engineers at Wenchang Launch Center. The Long March 7 had its maiden flight in June 2016, and Y2 model was updated specially for Tianzhou One. If you are just joining us. This is a live report on the docking of China's first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou One, with orbiting space module Tiangong Two. And Tianzhou and Tianzhou One is scheduled to refuel Tiangong Two three times and carry out experiments and tests. During the journey, Tianzhou One will orbit on its own for about three months. And together with Tiangong Two for about two months after the rendezvous. At the end of the mission, Tiangong One will leave the orbit and fall back to Earth, while Tiangong Two will remain in orbit and continue its experiments. The Tiangong One mission will complete the second phase of the Chinese manned space program. It will be crucial for China in achieving the final step of establishing a space station around 2022. According to Research Institute of China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, the mission's difficulty lies in refueling in space. Tianzhou One is the first cargo ship independently developed by China. Is expected to dock with the orbiting Tiangong Two space lab and conduct in-orbit refueling. The cargo spacecraft will also carry out space experiments, 
including one on non-Newtonian gravitation, before falling back to Earth. More than 10 days ago, Chinese space tracking ship Yuanwang-7 has started its maritime space monitoring and communication mission for Tianzhou-1, China's first cargo spacecraft. Yuanwang-7 has sailed into the Pacific Ocean, the first time for the ship to carry out a journey independently. During its maiden voyage in July 2016, the ship was, com was accompanied by Yuanwang-6. The vessel is also expected to perform emergency response and scientific tasks after reaching its destination in the Pacific Ocean. Designed by China, Yuanwang-7 is 220 meters long, 40 meters high, and it has a displacement of nearly 30,000 tons. Yuanwang-7, which is part of the country's new generation of spacecraft tracking ships, entered service on July 12, 2016. It has performed scientific research and experiment-related tasks, including tracking missions for the maiden flight of Long March 5, Space Rendezvous, and docking of manned spacecraft Shenzhou-11 and the Tiangong-2 space lab. They are all significant missions for China's manned space program. The Yuanwang-1 and Yuanwang-2 ships, which are China's first-generation space tracking vessels, entered service in 1979, making China the fourth country to master space, tra to master space tracking technology after the United States, Russia, and France. Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm John Chu with China's Xinhua News Agency. You are watching a live report on the docking of China's first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou-1, with orbiting space module Tiangong-2. Today, China's first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou-1, is expected to dock with orbiting space lab Tiangong-2. And the picture you are watching now is streamed from Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, a command center for the Chinese space program. Tianzhou-1 was launched from the Wenchang Space Launch Center in South China's Hainan province on Thursday. The Tianzhou-1 cargo spacecraft is expected to dock with Tiangong-2 for three times, and today is the first rendezvous between the two spacecrafts. Tianzhou-1's main mission will be to refuel Tiangong-2, thus testing one of the key technologies needed for the operation of China's future space station. As China's first cargo spacecraft, as China's first cargo spacecraft, Tianzhou-1 has been launched on Thursday from Wenchang Space Launch Center in South China's Hainan Province. The cargo spacecraft was carried out into was carried into orbit by Long March 7Y2 carrier rocket. And Tianzhou-1 is the first cargo ship independently developed by China. It is expected to operate in orbit at an altitude of 380 kilometers before docking with the orbiting Tiangong-2 space lab. The cargo spacecraft will also carry out space experiments, including one on non-Newtonian gravitation, before falling back to Earth.
Here, let's look back upon China's manned space program. There are some major facts that may get you a better understanding of China's space exploration. The first step, Shenzhou One, was launched in November 1999. As the first member of Shenzhou family, the main task of Shenzhou One was to examine the performance and reliability of the launcher and verify key technology relating to the capsule connection and separation, heat prevention, control, and landing. And following Shenzhou One, Shenzhou Two was launched in January 2001. Shenzhou Two was the first formal unmanned spacecraft. The launch was conducted in conditions usually required for a manned spacecraft. It carried out several experiments in various fields of space, including life science, materials, astronomy, and physics under conditions of microgravity. Shenzhou Three was launched in March 2002. The module carried human physical monitoring sensors and dummy astronauts. It was also equipped with escape and emergency rescue functions. If you are just joining us, this is a live report on the docking of China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou One with orbiting space module Tiangong Two. Today, China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou One is expected to dock with orbiting space lab Tiangong Two. And the picture you are watching is streamed from Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, a command center for the Chinese space program. You can see from the picture, the Tianzhou One cargo spacecraft is expected to dock with Tiangong Two for three times, and today is the first rendezvous between the two. Tianzhou One's main mission will be to refuel Tiangong Two and testing one of the key technologies needed for the operation of China's future space station. The command center says said. Everything goes well for the Tiangong Two cargo spacecraft. There are some major facts that may get you a better understanding of China's space exploration. As we just mentioned, Shenzhou Three was launched in March 2002. The module carried human physical monitoring sensors and dummy astronauts. It was also equipped with escape and emergency rescue functions. Then Shenzhou Four was launched in December 2002. The module was launched at a temperature of minus 29 degrees Celsius. Excessive harmful gas found in the previous three crafts. Was reduced to a safe level in the fourth module, radiation-proof facilities, and automatic and manual emergency rescue systems were installed on the spacecraft. In Shenzhou Five, a crucial step for China's manned space program was launched in October 2003. The launch of the spacecraft was the first manned mission, which realized the nation's thousand-year dream of manned space flight. And was a new milestone in China's space program. The craft carried out the craft carried astronaut Yang Liwei, the first Chinese astronaut.
and Shenzhou 6 was launched in October 2005. It's China's second manned space flight, which carried astronauts Fei Zhulong and Ni Haisheng. The mission aimed to master technology relating to a multi-person and multi-day orbital flight, as well as to carry out manned space-related scientific experiments and medical experiments. And Shenzhou 7 was launched in September 2008. In Shenzhou 7 mission, China carried out a historic first spacewalk by Chinese astronaut Jai Zhigang. And Liu Boming and Jing Haipeng were on board. Were on board. Jai left the cabin at 4.34 p.m. September 27th, about 43 hours after the craft launched. Remaining outside the craft for 90 minutes, for 90 minutes and 35 seconds, China became the third country in the world to conduct extravehicular, extravehicular activities in space, following the Soviet Union and the United States. This is a live report on the docking of China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou-1 with orbiting space module Tiangong-2. Today, China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou-1 is expected to dock with orbiting space lab Tiangong-2. And the picture you are watching now is streamed from Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, the command center for the Chinese space program. And we are just reviewing the history of China's space exploration. And China's Shenzhou 8 was launched in November 2011. The spacecraft docked with Tiangong 1 space module during the mission. The return of the unmanned spacecraft Shenzhou 8 marked the end of the 49-day space docking mission, and it was hoped that it would pave the way for the establishing of China's own space station. China not only made a breakthrough in space docking technology with Shenzhou 8 mission, but also validated the capability of its rocket, spacecraft, and entire system laying solid foundations for the building of space station. Shenzhou 9 was launched in June 2012. During the mission, Shenzhou 9 docked with Tiangong 1 space module. The return of the Shenzhou 9 spacecraft to Earth marked the end of a 30-day journey through space for three Chinese astronauts who completed China's first manned space docking. The craft carried the first Chinese female astronaut, Liu Yang. It also marked the beginning of a new journey for China as they inched closer to its goal of building a space station. Then came Shenzhou 10. It was launched in June 20, 2013 and also docked with Tiangong 1 space module. Shenzhou 10 was China's first application-oriented space flight. In its, 14, in its 15-day journey in space, Shenzhou 10 docked with the orbiting space lab Tiangong-1 twice, once through automatic operation and once manually. The astronauts spent 12 days in Tiangong-1 where they conducted medical experiments, technical tests, and delivered a lecture to students on Earth about basic physics principles. Compared with the previous mission, Shenzhou 9, Shenzhou 10 was not experimental, but an applicable shuttle system for transporting astronauts and supplies to orbiting modules. And Shenzhou 11 spacecraft is the youngest member of Shenzhou family. It was launched in October 2016. After its launch on October 17th, the spacecraft docked two days later with China's first space lab Tiangong-2 
where the two astronauts lived for 30 days. The mission aimed to transport personnel and materials between Earth and Space Lab Tiangong-2, as well as test mating, docking, and return processes. It fulfilled the longest manned mission in the country's space program to date. The module marked the imminent end of the exploratory stage of China's manned space program, which will carry out manned space missions on a regular basis with the establishment of its own space station. You are watching a live report from Xinhua Live on the docking of China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou-1 with orbiting space lab Tiangong-2. Today, we, today we've been following the first rendezvous of China's first cargo spacecraft Tianzhou-1 with orbiting space module Tiangong-2. Now it's time to wrap up the report. If you like our show, you could share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can also keep following Xinhua for more news and updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time.